Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is May 30th of 2018, and it's about 8.30 p.m., and I'm in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, going to mention a little bit the Roseanne situation. Um, I was a, well, I'm not really a fan of female stand-up comics. I mean, there's been a few that I've liked, but in general, I don't like them. And uh, when I remember seeing Roseanne doing some stand, not in person, you know, some stand, I forget where I saw him, you know, some type of video. And uh, I liked her, I liked her humor and liked her act. And, uh, then when the uh, Roseanne TV show came on, I was a big fan of the uh, of the show. I watched all the episodes, and I uh, well, I take that back. I loved the show. I watched it all. Then, as Roseanne apparently was taking more control of the show uh, and deciding things. Uh, I I didn't like some of the shows that were done, and, and you could just uh, see her fingerprints on them. So I didn't like some of the uh, some of the episodes. Uh, and uh, then towards the end, when uh, the the family Roseanne, when they won the lottery and had money. I, I think I stopped watching after a while. It just was not, uh, it just wasn't the same show. It just wasn't uh, what I liked, what we, what I expected. So there's probably some of those sh things, some of those episodes that I probably have never seen. Uh, then I've watched uh, reruns and I stop before I get to the winning of the lottery. But I've watched a uh, uh, a lot of the rerun, rerun, reruns, reruns of it. Uh, I, um, I think I'm, I got to the point where I, of course, knew all the episodes, and there's, I'd see and I'd see an episode, and I that was coming, you know, this is going to be the episode, and I would jump, I'd skip an episode or go to, you know, go to one that I knew was really uh, funny. Uh, uh, Roseanne's husband, Dan, being arrested by the police. Uh, Darlene getting felt up. <laughs> uh, and just a whole lot of those. So I would watch those episodes and I would skip some. That I would skip all the, I'd skip all the 4th of July ones. Every 4th of July, uh, they had an episode that I thought, I thought they were all stupid. I just didn't. You know, and uh, there were some other episodes that I uh, I skipped, but I I watched the reruns, and uh, fairly recently I watched some you know some of the reruns before the new show came out. So if you're overseas, maybe you haven't maybe you haven't followed this. Um, I think Roseanne did. I think it was eight or nine seasons uh, of the show, the Roseanne and her family. And then it uh, went off TV and went into syndication. Uh, then it just recently came back with season, if it was season 10, then they did nine seasons I was kind of surprised. I, you know, they did. They it was closed and went into syndication, and then they come up and I thought they might start a, but they didn't. They just made it in season. I think ten. They continued where they had, they'd been stopped for several years, and they continued with a season ten. And uh, I watched. I'm not sure if I watched them all, but in uh, season ten, the new season. Uh, Roseanne in the show 
uh, plays that she's a conservative and that she's a Trump supporter. And I think a lot of, I'm a liberal, I think a lot of liberals, you know, they didn't care, you know. They don't like Trump and they didn't want to hear anything. I thought it was just fine. Uh, didn't bother me. I still watched, still watched the episode. But other things that she did in the show, uh, I just couldn't, you know, I just couldn't watch it. I just stopped watching it, uh, making her grandson. I'm not sure if he's supposed to be gay or a transsexual or what he was supposed to be. Uh, it's something that she's, during the other things, the other things that she did, the previous epi the episode, seasons, uh, that was something she wanted to make uh, DJ, her son, and the thing she wanted to make him come out as being a gay boy. Uh, she wanted, I, I forget, others, just something, it was something about that she was interjecting. I thought, that's not, it's messing the show up. Uh, there was stuff like that that, and so she had it on steroids in this new thing, and it just, uh, I had no objection to the political stuff that she was throwing into it because the other characters could, you know, kind of clash with her and argue with her. And I don't know if she had, if Roseanne was getting the best lines written or, or what, but I didn't uh, uh, care for it. So anyway, when, uh, I think it was on ABC, when the new Roseanne show came, came out, oh, conservatives and Republicans were just, oh, in hog heaven, oh man, you know, wonderful. And Trump also, <laughs> the, the President of the United States, uh, he, after I think it was the first episode, uh, he congratulated, you know, Roseanne and uh, uh, made the thing about it, you know, about himself and, and uh, just uh, so uh, Roseanne, her show just got canceled. She tweeted some terribly racist things and just but Roseanne a long time ago I'm, I'm, I'm sure she was a liberal a long time ago and she's been uh, is she racist yeah I think she's racist uh, I think however that she has uh, some mental problems some emotional problems some some things, and I'm not sure that she can control, because over the years she has called all different kinds of people Nazis. She's uh, she buys into and believes every conspiratory uh, thing that's out. She believes that, uh, and I forget now the exact details of, of who she blames, but she doesn't believe that. Uh, well, maybe she believes that the aircraft crashed into, you know, the Twin Towers, 9-11. Or because the, the people who, those people who believe that uh, that was, you know, some people in that clique of people believe airplanes didn't really crash into it. <laughs> Other people believe that uh, the, the Jewish people are responsible and that that they notified that there were no Jews in the uh, Twin Towers of 3,000 people that died or whatever, that they had been notified a day ahead of time, you know, that a email or something came to them and said, uh, you know, this is, I don't know who it'd be, what, you know, this is, uh, don't go to work tomorrow because we're going to, you know, blow, and it's just, I don't know which one of those segments that she has bought into, and maybe her opinion changed, but she believes that, uh, no, the, 9-11, that's not the way things happened. But, uh, she probably is in the group that believes that the, you know, FBI uh, went in and blew the building up. That, uh, So 
and then of course she, you know Obama being a not born in the United States and being born in was it Kenya or where you know born in Africa she believes that every one of the crazy things that these people believe she believes in that and promotes that uh, so I think there's something wrong with her now should the men in white coats go and grab her and take her to a psych unit no uh, because I'm sure probably she is not going to well of course she she did harm herself but I mean physically she's not going to harm herself and she's not of course she's been very it's very hateful I mean she's hurt uh, the parents of uh, these children that have been uh, killed in schools when she believes that uh, that that really didn't happen that they were actors all these crazy things that she believed they do hurt other people but you know physically she's not going to hurt herself physically she's not going to take a knife or a gun and go and hurt other other people so no she shouldn't be locked up it would be nice if she could get kind of some kind of help but uh, I'm not sure that you know what what are you going to you know what are you, how are you going to treat her you're going to give her a bunch of drugs that are going to make her into a you know I she's just the way you know the way she is so uh, should ABC News and Disney yank the which they have they shut it down should they yank the Roseanne show off the air I think so uh, the right wing are going to scream and holler that it happened because she was a Trump supporter and this is an attack on Trump and all that kind of no she just went beyond the bounds of what you can do and should be allowed to do by the way it's not censorship if you know if the federal government uh, went in and said uh, uh, you can't have a show that uh, is favorable to uh, President Trump or you can't have a show that's favorable to uh, President Obama or something that's that would be censorship if but for a private business for ABC and Disney to fire an employee or a contract person or whatever you know that isn't censorship I by the way was censored by who well, I really wasn't uh, back in the uh, 60s I think it was I did a radio program that was broadcast two or three times a week to Europe Africa and Latin America from uh, transmitters in New York State WRUL radio radio New York worldwide and I put a news item in the thing and the station I, re I tape recorded it and mailed it to the and they cut that item out I put it back in next week and I blasted the WRUL for taking the news item out bang that was the end of my uh, radio days of doing uh, radio uh, so yeah now what they I just found out that uh, let me see if this is it no this is not it this is it uh, I just found out I wasn't 100% sure that the old seasons of uh, Roseanne are or were on HBO you can see here if I come here and uh, Reba which I by the way like uh, that I I love Lucy I watched them in the old days when they were you know um, I was around when they were real I mean live and whatever uh, I don't I never watch them never watched them after that um, Roseanne not long ago before this new 
season 10 came out, there was a time, quite, I'm simply sitting here and, uh, what am I going to do, you know? Um, oh, and I'd be looking around on Hulu and Netflix and Amazon and uh, places, and then I'd see, oh, the old, or wouldn't be old, but the Roseanne. And I would watch an episode or some episode, and I enjoyed it. Well, as you can see, I, I heard today sort of that, uh, and I thought, are they saying that they've taken off um, the old ones? So I came to, and you see, you know, I can click on this, I can click on this and get it, go up here, nothing. It's there, but I can't click on it and go. I'm clicking, I'm clicking. Nothing is happening, so they took that off. That's, <laughs> that's kind of too bad. I'm not sure... Hang on a second. Uh, one doesn't want to go down. Uh, and that was long enough for me to lose my, uh, anyway, they've, uh, they've taken, oh, that residuals, is that what they call the money that, uh, these reruns and, sh and shows get? I, I don't, I, I saw something on YouTube, I think a few times about that and a little bit of an idea of how much it was, and it varies, and there's different rules, and, you know, things that, as to how that works out. Some of these shows that we see that are rerunning, and have been rerunning for years, the stars that are wearing them uh, don't get anything, or get, you know, almost nothing. And then there's some where they get, uh, and I think the last that I heard, or what, It boils down to it's an, a small sum of money for unless you are the star, which I'm guessing in Roseanne would be, you know, uh, I'm not sure how many of them it would be. I mean, they'd, I'd all consider them stars in the thing, but I think, but then if you're, na I, I heard that if you are, are a producer, so I'm guessing, you know, if you are the, the stars, one or two of them, and you're a producer or a co-producer, you get a nice, and then there's a few others, and then there are other people that are in it, uh, depending on, you know, you, you get a, I mean, I'd be happy if I, if I were, had been in a show that ran nine seasons, and if I got, I don't know, $250 a month or something like that, uh, every month because of the, you know, people were watching it or something. But, uh, and of course other, you know, producers knows it get kind of, so it's, it's too bad that these people, the new Roseanne have lost their jobs, 200 of them, I guess. And now they're not going to get, uh, you know, this money coming in from, from this, from these old shows, um, I saw on YouTube someplace somebody talking about that they had done a commercial for some product, and it wasn't any big deal. But the commercial ran on national TV, and I forget what they got. Uh, no, it was uh, somebody I actually worked with, and. They wrote a, they liked a product, a, a soap product or something like that. And they wrote a letter into the company and said how much they liked it. And their picture, I believe, and their statement was used. And they were, for a, a few months, as the ad ran, they were getting, I don't know, $1,000, $1,500 a month or every two or three months or something for it. That was... So, but I feel sorry for these people that, uh, 
are losing out. Um, so Roseanne, you know, why are these people, uh, Trump, you know, they're using Twitter. I have a Twitter account. And when I post this video, I, you know, automatically it will go to Twitter and Facebook and there'll be an announcement, which I, I have the box check to do that, but I don't create, a, I don't go to Twitter and ever look at any Twitter things. Uh, I just don't understand these people getting on Twitter and doing this stuff. It just hurts them. Um, you know, Donald Trump, the President of the United States, should not be posting things on Twitter. He shouldn't be, because he's too important, every word that he says, every thought that he has, other governments, other people are looking to see he just should, he shouldn't be doing it. But Donald Trump cannot stop himself, and uh, Roseanne can't stop herself. We see the consequences of, you know, with Roseanne. We haven't seen all the consequences yet with uh, Donald Trump. I think that some of his, when it comes to legal action, if it rises to him, which I think it will, I think everybody around him is involved and got, got sucked into it. And uh, I think that some of his tweets and the time and that he said that he knew something or he ordered this or ordered that or whatever, I think those things are going to come back to put him in supreme, you know, into legal jeopardy. They might cost him, you know, the presidency. Maybe he won't be impeached, but he'll just be presented with, you know, here's, you know, the information and the charges that are coming against you. And he just may decide to uh, have to take a early retirement, you know, resign for health reasons or for uh, needing new hair plugs or something. I don't know what, but, uh, you know, but it's okay, I guess, for common people to get on there and tweet about things and talk about things. And when an accident happens or somebody dies, you can get on there and say, pray for the, you know, pray for the victims. Uh, but for other people and for Roseanne, but, uh, and great credit goes to ABC and to Disney for making the decision. This, you know, they spent a ton of money. This was the number one show on ABC. The ratings were high. Uh, they had already made, I think, some of the next season shows. They had already, I guess, told their affiliates that I think it was $40 million in advertising money would be coming in to the, sta you know, to the stations because of that show, in addition to whatever other, you know, deals, things were going, going on. So great credit to ABC, CBS, and to the agency who was representing, I'm not sure if it was a agent or if it was uh, what exactly the that agency did but they dropped Roseanne immediately that day they dropped her you know she no longer we no longer are her agents uh, credit to them too uh, for that but Roseanne's history has been that she was not stable that she said and did things that, and so what did, you know, what did these, uh, what did these people expect? I mean, I mean, look at somebody's record and I mean, it's, it, 
this was a bound, you know, was bound to happen. You know what is really, I mean, I am not a Trump supporter, as you can tell. Not at all. I didn't vote for him. Uh, but I'm not like the Republicans. The Republicans, when Obama was elected for eight years, and they, they made it plain. They, they said it out loud uh, to the public. They bragged about it. We're not going to help the president in any way. We're going to do everything we can to make his presidency a failure. Uh, and for that's what they did for eight years. It's a wonder we, <laughs> we survived. Maybe that proves government, you know, that we don't need government or something because they did everything they could to scuttle, you know, the presidency. Uh, and I, I'm just appalled that Donald Trump was elected. It just makes me sick to think that he's going to be in the history books and the, that there's going to be his, fo you know, in the wherever they put him in Washington, D.C. Of course, when he's president, there'll be one in every building, but, you know, the statues and the things and makes me sick to think that what a future gener if there are future generations, now I am not sure during his presidency if we'll have a United States that goes on, you know, maybe it'll be a different. Uh, but, you know, what would have been been great? But, of course, Donald Trump is not smart. Donald Trump has some mental problems also. I know that sounds bad because it sounds like I'm saying everybody has a mental problem, or if you're not... Uh, a liberal Democrat, you have mental problems, or I'm not saying that, of course. Uh, if I was saying that kind of stuff, I would be having mental problems. What would have been great? It would have been great for the Republicans. It would have been great for Donald Trump. Here, a clown. It would have been when they made a movie or a book or whatever. You know, hey, this, you know, this Donald Trump was a clown. He wasn't smart. He was, you know... Uh, had all these def if Donald Trump had come in and actually you know he said he was going to pick the the very 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 best people and he was going to do you know all this if he actually had come in and instead of picking the people that he picked which he has picked the worst possible people the worst person for uh, environmental protection the worst person the worst person for the Department of Education, my God. When you think of them, you can't each, you know, you think of the Department of Education or whatever, lady, and you think there couldn't be a worse, you know, person. And then you think, well, wait a minute, uh, you know, all the ones that are he's appointing are the worst. But what if he to come in and actually course he had to have that adulation and had to have he wasn't going to have anybody that disagreed with him he wasn't going to have anybody that didn't you know believe what he believed although I'm not sure what he believes but what if he had come in and picked whether they were Democrats or Republicans of course if they were a Democrat you'd have to have a you know talk with him and say you know hey I know what your your beliefs are on abortion or I know what your beliefs are on military intervention or these various things. But, you know, you can't stab me in the back. You you can have your opinion and you can even, you know, maybe say it. You know, the president, this is the president's policy and I am such and such, you know, secretary of this or what, and I'm supporting, you know, but what if he'd come in and picked really good people and listened to them? Of course, he's not able to do that. And he's not able to comprehend. He doesn't understand the Constitution, doesn't understand the American form of government, and he has all these problems. But what if he'd have come in and really picked good people? And what if he had... Uh, that would have been... That would have been something. I mean, the Republican Party would have, uh, 
the Democratic Party would have been hurt, which I wouldn't, you know, I don't want to see that. But I also don't want to see, and it's not happening, I don't want to see the Democratic Party uh, try to, you know, bring the system down in order to get a somebody they don't like. So, But it would have been good if, if Trump had come in. What if he had come in and got the very best people and if he was able to listen to them and able to understand and get a consensus if necessary and do, if he'd have been a, but that would, that's not the man that Donald Trump is and wasn't going to happen and isn't going to happen. And so I got off the subject of Roseanne a little bit, but, uh, Just amazing that the president, everything is about him. And just amazing that he gets by. Uh, no other president could get by with the things that he gets by doing. One little tiny thing, that, a minor thing, if, if uh, Obama had done it or if... Uh, President Clinton had done it, or if anybody, that would have been a major, but Trump does these things every day. Every day he lies. Every day he makes up things that are not true, you know, like the size of his crowd, crowds or all this stuff. He does this every day, and he gets by with it. And then all these other things that he he gets by with them. I, you know, it, it just must be, I hope nobody else learns this and does, I hope this does not become a pattern that you can just lie to the American people and uh, totally, uh, that you'll, if you, you know, you can lie and just totally uh, get by with it. And if you have a new crazy thing every day, the news media just can't keep up. You know, if you were to lie about something once and you didn't do it anymore, then they'd be talking about that and analyzing it. And but, it would, but when you do it every day, it's just overload for the overload for the the news media, and they can't uh, they can't deal with it. Uh, I would. It's just, it's just amazing. This is like situational, what do they call it? Not situational. It is like reality. I hate reality TV. And uh, I just hate reality TV. And this is what, kind of what we're living, reality government or something. Uh, There was, uh, well, I watch, I, I don't watch a lot of TV, actually. It sounds like I do. But I do like some shows and um, not Home and Garden, but what, there's a, is it HGTV? They, they had several shows on there, uh, house buying and that type of stuff. And I just loved watching those shows, especially when they were a couple or whatever, were looking for an expensive place. And then, of course, now that when you watch the show, <laughs> it looks like the people look at three places and then they pick one. Well, nobody's going to be buying any place and just look at three. Nobody is going to be buying a place for 10 million, 20 million or $50 million and look at three. I understood they had to cut that down. And so I really did not consider it reality TV. I was telling people, I hate reality TV. Uh, wait a minute, I got to watch this uh, home buyers, whatever it was, you know, and I'd watch it. And then I found out that that was all basically made up. Uh, some of those people were not even, not look actually looking for homes. And some of the places that they looked at were not even for sale or on the market. It was just, hey, this would be a good, you know, 
a good place to show and these people you know looking you know looking at it and oh man it uh, breaks my heart that but I hate reality and this our 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 government right li- right now is like reality TV well I've been talking for 35 minutes and so I Oh, let me let me check though here. Okay. Okay, I showed you that. Still can't click on it. <laughs> I wonder what if uh, you know, they pulled the new show. I wonder if should they have pulled the old, you know, if it was sexual, a thing, if, okay, I can understand, if the person in there, let's say, uh, a, a male, if he, if it comes out that he uh, did rapes or assaults or whatever, and, uh, should the show be pulled? I think maybe so. I don't know. I might be wrong. Maybe it should be pulled. But in this case, I don't know. I'm missing some of the episodes of uh, Roseanne. Anyway. I think there's some talk that maybe the this, this show could go on without her, because I think ABC, uh, you know, owns it, and Disney, ABC and Disney own it, and uh, I mean, they could pull, I, I think they probably own her name too, you know, uh, but they could just name it, you know, something else, the Connors or whatever. Uh, so I guess that's it. You may, you know, leave a comment below if you or if you have an opinion about something. I look at all the comments. I reply, I think, to all, almost all of them. But that's, you know, I don't get it. If I got the number of uh, comments that other people get, well, I wouldn't be able to respond to them all. But I do thank you very much for watching. I, I've taken my nighttime medication. My arthritis for the last two or three days, there's been some stuff going on here. I've had to be doing some stuff and uh, uh, my arthritis the proxen where are you here it is I don't normally take this I take it very rarely but for the last couple of days I've been taking it regular and I'm gonna take another one now so because my arthritis my arthritis is in my neck and my back and so really hurting this usually works especially if I take one and then take a little nap but thank you very much for watching <laughs>